Could drivers these days actually be willing to give up their cars, especially here in Southern California, a car culture to say the least? Well, it appears more people than ever are turning to public transportation as a way to save money in this tight economy. NBC4's Angie Crouch shows us. More people are taking public transportation these days. Trains, buses, and subways are at their busiest levels since the 1950s. New numbers released by the American Public Transportation Association show more Americans are leaving their vehicles behind and getting on board mass transit. The APTA says mass transit was up 4% in 2008. The use of Metrolink up 9.1%. L.A. County MTA use is up only 0.8%, but the Orange County Transportation Authority reports ridership up 5%. Last year's rising gas prices and a worsening economy are two reasons why people are making the switch to public transportation. It's mostly just because we have the one vehicle, mm -hmm. and we can't really afford to pay for gas on a second vehicle, so... It's a little better. When gas was close to $5 a gallon, it was really crowded. And I've noticed, I think, that it is picking up a bit. But since gas went down, there was certainly a big drop-off. The APTA says Americans drove about 3.5% less on our freeways in 2008 than a year earlier. But we're still very attached to our cars, especially here in Southern California. Driving still accounts for about 90% of all commuter trips. But many people say staying off these congested roads is a high price priority these days. Kevin Winston ditched his car and switched to Metrolink a few months ago. Uh, because of gas and traffic and it's a little bit convenient for where I work. Uh, so it's, it's better than, you know, taking the car. You have to deal with a lot of real rage. The real test is going to be now that gas prices have come down a bit, if they stay low, will people return to their cars or will they keep taking public transportation? In Glendale, Angie Crouch, Channel 4 News.